Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and how are you all doing? Welcome to Books That Are Going Away. So, um, as I'll explain. So, as I was sitting today, you know, trying to do something, but not moving at all, suddenly had an idea to show the books that I'm giving away, or selling and stuff, because why the fuck not? I mean, you know... So, yeah, so uh, now this is going to be sort of a, uh, every once in a while when I have uh, books I'm going to give away, I will show them, you know, another opportunity to show them and stuff, and, you know, could be amusing. Because those are those books that I might start and not, uh, not finish and decide to give away, and since now my... TBRs are only going to consist of, th of three books, and the rest will be completely spontaneous. And so, yeah. Okay, let's get started. If I look half dead, I'm, I'm a zombie today. Okay, so the first book is The BFG by Roald Dahl. So this is the, um, I think I told you that when I, uh, when I did my thoughts on the book video on the BFG, that I have this, uh, I have it in Hebrew, and the Hebrew translation looks terrible, so this is it. I mean, I don't know how you'd feel about it, but I think it looks bloody awful. Not the picture, the colors. I mean, look at this. This is so unattractive. Although I have to say, the picture is actually very nice. This is the behind. Ugh, price sticker. Okay, here it is. This is from... It's a, it's a publishing house in Israel. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, but I'm mistaken, so uh, is it, this is the one. All of these that I'm going to show you, I'm actually selling to someone. She'll hopefully come maybe this month and take them all. So here it is. I don't know how do you feel about it. I think it looks bloody awful. Then again, that's just me. Okay, next we have... One second, because some of these are translated. Okay, next we have um, Gregor the Overlander by Susan Collings, uh, translated by... Wait. Uh, translated by Yael Achmon. So, um, wow, this is a book from the first one that I began filming. I remember how awkward I was when I talked about it. Wow, it's such a different feeling right now. I mean, I'm I'm used to it now. Ah, memories. So, um, I read this... I think in the month I started my channel I read this because I remember I talked about it in the wrap-up. So this was nice. Um, it's, it's a fantasy story by uh, Susan Collins. She also wrote um, The Hunger Games. Those are all the Hunger Games and well, the Hunger Games, and she also she also has uh, apparently another fantasy series which is called uh, Gregor the Overlander. This is the Hebrew translation. I guess I really love the cover. It was a nice story. I didn't fall off my seat with amazement or anything. It was nice, but I really didn't feel like continuing, especially after I read the um, the. Uh, the summary on the second book. So this one's going away too. Uh, next we have... Oh, wait. Forgot this was here. Uh, this is Gregor the Overlander, and this is the second book, and it's called Gregor and the Prophecy of Bane. And I don't know how that one's called. So yeah, here it is. This is the Hebrew translation. This was by... Um, yeah, Yael Achmon, again. Her. She's the one who translated this. Um, <laughs> look, they're right here. The author of the, of, the, um, of the Hunger Games. To sell it, obviously. So yeah, again, awesome cover. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. And the colors are beautiful. There's a ship. Oh, I didn't show you in here. It has a bat. That's cool. Oh, I have such pretty covers for books that I 
didn't really like. Yeah, so after I read that one, I had them both. I bought them years ago. It was still when I would just buy and not, you know, like, read first the first one. Now I read the first one usually and then only buy the second because I want to make sure. But I bought this one another occasion and after I read that one and I read the back, I was like, nah, forget it. I'm skipping you. So yeah, this one is also going away. Okay, next we have The Maze Runner by James da Dashner. Hope I'm saying that right. This is the Hebrew translation. I got this um, from a friend. I guess it's from a friend someone I exchanged, uh, I borrowed books from. She got rid of a bunch of books and asked me if I wanted one. So I uh, took it. I wanted to see how it would be like. And well, now it's going to be sold. I gotta say, this is really cool. And the back. There's the back. That's actually pretty cool. So yeah, this one is also going away. Um, okay, next I have... One moment. It's a bunch of them. Okay, next I have... The... Um, sec. Uh, uh, Beast Quest, uh, Fer F Ferno the Fire Dragon by Adam Blade. This is a series, which um, I wanted to talk about this, but when I tried to find out the author, it showed a whole bunch of authors, so I, I don't get what the fuck is going on with this thing, to be honest with you. So I didn't show it at all. But, um... Well, it's, uh, so it's a, it's a really cute and simple fantasy story. You got the, the generic plot, a young boy, it's his destiny to save the, the kingdom from these beasts that are actually, are actually meant to protect the kingdom, but an evil wizard cursed all of them, and now they're destroying the kingdom. So yeah, this is, I really love these. I went through them really fast because they're so quick to read. And then very nice, but I'm I'm still confused about the author, to be honest. So this is the Hebrew translation. This was um this by er Erez Ashov. Was translated by him. So this is the first one. And now um what I love about these is they're numbered. Authors or publishing houses. You see, this is a number. See? Look how cute it is, and it's helpful, because you know what number of book this is, see? It doesn't have to be here or big, it can even be small, see? Okay? I'm sorry, this just really annoys me that there there's some books, and you don't know the fucking number. And they sometimes don't even write the book before the fuck em. Okay, next we have, um, the, the second, oh great, no one wrote the name of the, yeah. Okay, next we have the second book, the second book, again, translated by Ares Ashrov. For some reason, I, I, I don't know what the, um, doesn't say in English, how is it called? But anyway, Beast Quest, the third book. It's got the uh, water snake thing. There he is. So, the, the covers are also very pretty. I read a bunch of these. I think I stopped at number... I stopped at number five. Stopped at number five. Um, I don't remember why. I think... Uh, well, th this series... Apparently, is a trillion books in this series. Like... 80 maybe something when I looked at it, I was like okay <laughs> we're gonna stop here so this is again by Erez Ashrov he's the translator I wonder if he translated them all so this is a um, mountain giant this is the third part it has a number okay next is the fourth part 
fourth part again by Aerith Ashrov. And this is the like center or horseman, however. I love this one because it's purple, so I'm biased. Oh, by the way, there's cards inside. If you cut this, there's cards of the, the characters and all sorts of stuff. It's actually really cool. This is the third. This is now the fifth. The fifth is a Yeti. Oh, and here it's N Na Nanok, the snow monster. This is the fifth book, again, by Erez Ashrov, is the translator. This is the fifth book in the series. And now I just have the seventh one, which I didn't read because I didn't read the six. So this is the Golden Armor, um, Zephyr the Monster Squid, again by Eris Ashrov. And again, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if any of you read this and you know is the author? I mean, when I saw it. Looked down a blade and said it was written together, and yeah, so that's why I didn't show it. It was too confusing for me. So there it is. This is a really cool drawing. There's the kid. His name is Tom. His name is Tom, and he's our main hero. So this is the series that's going to go away to someone else. There it is. Numbers! Keep that in mind, authors and publishers. Numbers are good. Numbers are our friend. Yeah, I'm pissed off about this. Okay, next I have um, Lockwood and Co. For the second book, this is The Whispering Skull by Jonathan Starrod. Starred? I'm mispronouncing his name. This is translated by Iris Varam. Um, let me just see how his name is written. Ah, uh, Jonathan Sturd. Jonathan Sturd, The Whispering Skull. So this is, I read the first book in 2015, which was Lockwood and Cole, The Screaming Staircase, I think. And then I got this one, but uh, I don't know, I really want to read this in English and not in the Hebrew translation. I have that bug in my head sometimes where I, I don't know, for some reason I'm not happy with the translation I need to read in English. Weird, but it happens. Look how cool it looks, the green skull and everything. The first one I had in Hebrew was also very pretty. It was blue and got the staircase here. This one is also bloody awesome. It's an it's a fantasy series about the world where there's ghosts, but you can't go out at night because these ghosts will will kill you and things. And in this universe, kids are the only ones that can stop ghosts because they can see them. But after they grow up, they can they can no longer see them as well as they used to when they were teenagers or kids. I think up until the age of um they're not too young here. I think about, um, I think up until 17 you might be able to see these ghosts in this universe. That's how I remember it. So there it is. This one's also going away. And the last one, by no means least, damn, this video is long, is uh, The Curse Workers, the first book in The Curse Workers by Holy Black. This is White Cat. I heard he talked about this book, I really enjoyed it. And now it's going to go away to someone else's enjoyment, because, well, I also have the second, which I'm going to get to soon, and also probably get rid of later. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. This will be happening every once in a while. It, it depends if I remember as well. It's just this one was waiting in a bag, so I did remember about them. So that is it. Uh, tell me if you read or heard of any of these books or something. Till next time, bye.